Lovers, it's your Muslim friend Dina. I got the chance to go to the Green New Deal Expo here in Korea. I went over to Incheon and the really cool thing is they actually sponsored this video for me to get to go and share with you guys a little bit of what I saw. So, let's go to the expo together. Let's go! The Green New Deal is actually funded by the Korean government. They're putting a couple billion dollars into the industries to help make them more environmentally friendly, help them make more jobs, and hopefully help make these companies better. They want to keep Korea on like the global sphere of things. Obviously most of us know companies like LG and Samsung. There were a ton of booths and a ton of different companies and I got assigned specifically to have to go to one booth. So they told me, yeah, you can see every booth, but you have to go to this one as well. And I was like, Okay, sure, why not, let's go. And so the booth that I had to go to was called NK. Like, that's the name of the company, and i never heard of it before. So I, I asked the poor gentleman who was there, who was not expecting me, I'm like, who are you and what do you do? And basically, NK is a shipping company, so like they actually provide gas and energy to boats and to ships and things like that. And what they're doing, instead of just providing gas, they're planning on providing hydrogen. So liquid hydrogen and fuel cell technology. And they're working on figuring out how to actually deliver it, which is absolutely cool. And the thing I noticed is a bunch of the companies there were moving into hydrogen technology. And a bunch of people were trying to explain to me hydrogen fuel cell technology in Korean. And I had no idea what they were saying. Cause like, bro, I'm like, I can order a latte. And you're trying to talk to me about like science. I understood a little bit and then I just did like some Googling. So yeah, very basic rudimentary Google search. Why is liquid hydrogen awesome? Normally, like in cars and stuff, we have internal combustion engines. So we use gas, it basically makes a little fire and that makes energy. That's like what combustion means, it makes a fire. But the thing is, when we use gas, it releases CO2, which pollutes our environment, and we don't need any more of that right now. But when you use liquid hydrogen, you actually have water released instead of CO2. But the thing is, you need a different engine and different things like that. And also because it's a new, like fairly new liquid, people are still trying to figure out how to transport it safely, how to make it, and like how to use it most efficiently and stuff. But the thing is, the technology does exist. And hydrogen fuel cell technology, when you compare it to like internal combustion engines, it actually is about two to three times more efficient. So you get more energy, which is really cool. And I didn't even know that. And I'm like, whoa, okay, wow. At the expo, there was also a job fair going on. And <laughs> I thought that was interesting. I wasn't expecting a job fair. And there was three different like lecture sections where different companies were giving lectures on what they're gonna do, what their plans are, like talking about like stock options and things like that. I saw a lot of really interesting booths. So I'm gonna point out a few of them. So Hyundai had a booth and they had two huge cars there. One of them was called the Nexo, which is a hydrogen and electric car. And then another one was called the Ionic, which is an all electric car. And I really wanted to drive them, but apparently you're not allowed to drive cars in a building. But the thing is like, they had like these two full size cars, right? And then right next to it, they made like a mini track with a mini version of their car, like a mini electric car. And they said I was too big to ride it. And I'm like, who's supposed to ride it? Why do you have a mini electric car here? And they're like, it's for children. And I'm like, this is like, a, like an energy business science expo. Are there people bringing their small children? Like, all right, Bobby, I know you're six years old, but mommy's gonna go to a, a science expo. I know you don't know what any of this means, but let's go. You know, there's a lot of booths I wanna check out. I don't have time to watch you, Bobby. Bobby, go hang out with Hyundai. Just go, just go drive around in a circle a little bit, you know, whatever. I'm gonna go check out that yoga clothing booth over there. Yeah, bye. Well, did someone bring their child to this expo? I just wanna know. Anyways, there was a yoga clothing booth and I was, really surprised. They use plastic from the ocean mixed with like plant stuff to make the fabric that is in their clothes. What? That's so cool. Oh my god. Now I'm like, okay, but like, it's a cool concept, but if the clothing doesn't feel good, then ain't nobody gonna wear it, right? It is so soft. 
Oh my god, that was like one of the softest yoga pants that I've ever felt in my life. And I really wanted to wear them, but I felt like that would be weird to be like, can I put these pants on right now? So I was decided to be an adult and keep walking. And, <laughs> and there's also a textile booth. So on their booth thing, they basically had like some random scraps of trash. And I'm like, and what do you guys do? Apparently they recycle scraps. So like they recycle a bunch of like scrap leather and then make it into leather or they make it into thread or make it into some kind of a textile so that it can be reused again. And I think that's really cool because like frankly, like for leather in particular, something had to die for that, right? So let's pretend like you have this much leather and they only cut out like this much to, you know, make a purse or something. Well, what do you do with the rest of it? People just like throw it away and like something died for us to make this like handbag or to make these shoes or to make this jacket and then we just don't even use all of it that just seems like a waste of a life and they also gave me a mouse pad that can turn into like a mini bowl what the heck that was cool what's that? mouse pad ah mouse pad is also there button is there button is like this they were the first booth to give me a present. Oh my gosh. And then I got this idea. I was like, if this booth is giving me a present, how many other presents can I get from other booths? And so from that point on, I started specifically looking for booths that look like they have presents. More swag. I got a pen and some pamphlets from the Seoul Metropolitan Government. I really wish like Hyundai was like, yeah, here, take the Nexo car for free. It's a sample. Like that would have been nice, but okay, fine. Whatever, Hyundai. Maybe next time you can give me a nice, you know, entire car as a gift. <laughs> literally just involves making models. It's like playing Barbie but getting paid for it. It's the Sims in real life. I came here for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> We are gonna harness the energy of tidal waves! Water bending style! I thought that booth was actually really interesting. So I went there because they had like little miniature models of things and you could push buttons and it did stuff and I thought that was interesting. It was like a little game. There is a contraption that can make energy with the movement of the tidal waves. So naturally I was like, well if we're putting a giant thing in the ocean is that going to be bad for the fish? And so I asked and they said, no, actually, it's good for the fish. Because a lot of the small fishies have nowhere to hide from the big fish. So they can hide under our giant contraption thing. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. So I keep looking at the like mini models that they have set up. And one of the models has these like landmine looking things at the bottom. I'm like, you're going to harness the energy of tidal waves, but also just like casually explode things in the ocean to make more tidal waves? Like, is that like, what is this landmine looking thing? So I asked and they're like, oh no, that's actually like a fish house. You know, we're installing things so that, you know, fish have somewhere to live. And I'm like, okay, why? And they're like, you know, we figured since we were already in the ocean, we might as well invest in fish real estate. There's like, Nobody in the market right now basically besides us. So we're gonna get the biggest portion of this market Fish real estate is where it's at might as well, you know, I'm just kidding. They did not say anything about fish real estate <laughs> But they did say they were installing random like coral reef like things in the ocean for the fish because Why not you know why not? Remember to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, hit the notification bell, and keep evolving dinosaurs. Bye-bye! <laughs>